So when the scriptures speak of two fire-breathing witnesses, it's not actually speaking of like two people who are literally breathing fire. And Zechariah chapter 4 and Zechariah chapter 3 are the best places to go here because it talks about the anointed king and the anointed priest. And that is the two witnesses, the king and priest. So Revelation chapter 1 and Revelation chapter 5, the scripture calls us kings and priests. Now, also in, I believe it's 1 Peter chapter 2, where it says we're a royal priesthood, and it, it, it means kingly. So, the two fire-breathing witnesses are the two witnesses that we have with the Father bearing witness with us, because we have the inheritance of the Lord. So, just as Jesus always spoke, like, my Father is with me, and he explained, your Father is with you, to the to the pharisees when he called their father the devil so the two witnesses are the king and priest and that's what melchizedek means if you look back in genesis chapter 14 and you look in the big the book of hebrews that's what it's talking about it's talking about the anointed ones who have christ in them they are the kings of salem kings of peace priests of the most high god so all right to be continued all right see you on the next video